Hi guys, this is Lana with RetroGamerGirls.com and I thought I'd give you a look at my game room. So if you go down the stairs here, first thing you see is my Mario 3 poster. I have every version of this game that came out for every console. I think the only one I'm missing is uh, Super Mario All Stars on the Super Famicom. But I have all of the other ones, at least so far, even for my cell phone. And then, first thing you see is the TV. This is one of two that I have. And my Super Nintendo is hooked up to this one. And then I have a couch and my Pokemon blanket. And you see on the side here. I've got my Famicom and my Famicom Disk System. There's all my Famicom games. They're all in just color order pretty much because the only ones I have labels on them are the Konami ones on the right hand side here. So the other ones I just put in according to color. I know where all the important ones are like Final Fight's red and uh, Mega Man 5 is the greeny colored one. So I'm good. And then here's my boxed Famicom games. Also most of them happen to be uh, Konami ones too. That's just kind of a fluke. And then my Famicom Disk System games. And then above this we have all my DS games which is quite a few, and all my little collectibles. Um, like my uh, Flower Man guy, my mushrooms and all that fun stuff, and screen cleaners. And up here we have my Super Nintendo games. They're too deep so it doesn't look like I have many, but there's two behind there too. And then there's my Super Famicom games, and my N64 ones on the side here. And also I have my uh, Game Genie for Super Nintendo here on this side and then up here I have these awesome shelves which lets me put all of my plushy guys up there. So on this side it goes all the way around the room which is awesome. Well I guess they're above my really cool shelves here. I have my Nintendo sign. The box for my GameCube and one of my original Game Boys. I have two, both in boxes. And we come down, and then starts my Nintendo games. They're not in any particular order, which is kind of bad. I really should have been putting them in order the whole time, rather maybe alphabetically, but I didn't. So one of these days I'll sit down and do it, but I think it's going to take a while, so I might need a lot of time. And then we have all these awesome games, like, um, this one's actually pretty cool. Baby Boomer. And uh, Bible Adventures. That one's a real good one. And I'm being sarcastic if you can't tell. It's pretty crappy, but I figured it's one I should have to make my friends play when they don't know what they're getting into. Uh, there's my Lego E.T. <laughs> E.T. E.T. He's in front of my uh, Black Label Nintendo game. And then we have all my other ones. And then there's the Mega Man ones here. The one I'm missing is number 5, so I bought that one on the Famicom. And then I have Fire and Ice. Metal Storm, Bubble Bobble, and then we have the Castlevania games, the Adventure Island ones, and then we come to Ninja Gaiden, and the Double Dragon, and Dragon Warrior, and then these two, my two reproduction cards, which are awesome, or two of them, Nintendo World Championship, and Nintendo Campus Challenge. These ones I'll go, I'll do a video on on their own, because they're pretty cool. They're worth a lot of cool things worth showing. And then these are more just random games, not really any full series here. Other than uh, the Ninja Turtle ones right here. Well, some of the really cool games I have are this couple introduction cards. It's um, Earthbound. This is a translated one, so it's a remake of the Japanese one, all in English. And then we have uh, Summer Carnival at Rekka, which is insanely fast and very fun, but very crazy. And then let's see, down here I have my custom Mega Man Nintendo that I painted myself. I had four at the time, and this one was in pretty bad shape, so I figured I could sacrifice it to use as my dummy to see if I could make it work. And then, I'll show you here, I changed, I soldered the light, so I changed from the red to blue. So it's, it's blinking, there's nothing in there right now, but just so you can see. There's my one of my spare Famicoms, my original Game Boy, my classic NES, 
Game Boy Advance, which is awesome. My boyfriend at the time, who's my husband now, he got it for our first anniversary, and I've been hooked ever since. My DS Lite, and then my Talking Mario. He's pretty cool. I got him on eBay. It was pretty cheap. That was a few years ago. I'm not totally sure what he's saying there, though. Um, one of my newest additions is my uh, Mario clock with the spinning fireball. This thing's awesome. And then I have boxes for my original DS, my GBA, 3DS, cool Game Boy case. And then these little things are little scenes from the first Mario game, obviously. And the magnetic scene kind of pulls them however you want. I have four in total. These are just two of them. And then the other two are over here by the TV, along with my Rob. So there's the other one. There's Rob. I don't have the base, so he can just stand there. But it's really cute, so he can stay there. And I have a Nintendo Monopoly, the first edition. My Boo Toque that I got for Christmas. And then something else I'll show you is I got the certificate from it's uh, ratemycollection.com and I posted a couple pictures of um, my collection here and they thought it was really awesome so I'm a founder, founding member now and they even sent me a certificate and a pin so if you go on there you can rate my collection what you think of it and you can upload your own and then you can get a cool certificate and if you can get a free entry to any of their events which is awesome but I'm not in Europe so I probably won't be able to make any of them but just in case let me come over here I have a dartboard that I put little Pac-Man guys on. So we had new rules. You had to like hit. If you hit one of the normal ghosts, then you lost points. But if you hit one of the blue ghosts, then you gain points. So just like in the game. And below that, I have another shelf, which has on the top my GameCube game. Some of my favorites being well, Mega Man, obviously. Mega Max Collection, Mega Man Anniversary Collection, WarioWare, which is one of my favorite versions, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, and Mario Party 4 and 7, along with all the other cool Mario ones. And then there's like the Zelda ones on the top here, and Pikmin, and Godzilla, I'm a big Godzilla fan. And below that we have Super Nintendo game boxes. I have Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, Secret of Evermore. Mystic Quest, so they're all complete in their box. I also have Super Metroid, Mega Man X, Bomberman 2, and I have just a couple NES ones. Star Soldier, Ghosts and Goblins, Dig Dug, Double Dragon 3, and I have this cool video. You might remember this from Nintendo Power. Back when they were doing Making Donkey Kong Country, they sent this out to get everyone excited, and it totally worked. It's so cheesy, but I absolutely love it. It made me so excited for that game. I have the game or the box for Proteus on the Game Boy. This is the Japanese version, but it's pretty cool when you look at the difference of the sizes of the boxes here and the boxes there. I'll line these up for you. Look at the difference in size. I wonder why ours had to be bigger. It's kind of weird. I don't understand that. But there's a couple of my Game Boy game boxes too. Those are all original from when I was a kid. And on the bottom we have N64 in the boxes. And then I have my NES satellites. You can plug in four controllers and it's wireless. You don't have to be near the Nintendo, which is cool. Uh, Super Mario RPG. Totally complete. Awesome game. Uh, these are my Super Famicom games. I have two of the Proteus ones. I have Ultraman and Star Ocean. And then my Rumble Pack and a couple of PS1 games, which were admittedly my husband's actually, but then I kind of stole them. <laughs> we got married. And I'll show you the other part of my room here. I've got some Mega Man Beat guys on the top here. This is my hubby's uh, Transformer collection. It's kind of blocked off now. Just to make sure the cats don't knock it down. And when my son gets down here, he won't start knocking it down. And then we have the kind of concession stand. I have a little fridge here. So if you're thirsty, I've got drinks. I've got a coffee maker. You can make chocolate if you want, anything else. Then there's a popcorn maker. Then we have uh, 
my cool Kirby mug, and my Mega Man mug. And then one of the newest additions here that I have is my back wall here. That is all my heart. So I figured it'd be a good place to hang and display it. And then as I make more stuff, it'll just grow. And it's just above the couch here. Which is also beside my gaming chairs, which we use for the DS ones. So you have like surround sound on the chair. And this wall. We have Mega Man X poster. And then I have my anime collection. And like TV series ones. And then my foreign film collection, because I'm a big foreign film buff. And my Kirby plushies. They're hanging out there. And then trophies for all the little game competitions we've had at the house here. So my team won. This is random games we played, mostly Super Nintendo. And I can't believe my friend sacrificed his controller for that, because the buttons are perfect. Too bad I didn't find one that didn't work so well. And then we had track and field and for the campus challenge and then for actually my bachelor bachelorette party my team won the big mushroom trophy because we had the best pictures as a video or as a photo scavenger hunt so those are that's pretty much the whole thing here I'll give you a better look of the other tv and then you might be wondering where all my other consoles are the awesome thing with all these built-in shelves there's lots of room to hide them underneath. So there's my GameCube, another NES, my N64, a third Famicom, my Super Famicom on the bottom right, the PS1, and a whole whack of controllers. And in the back there are some zappers and stuff, which you probably can't see. Cool thing is I can have everything plugged in at once, because I use switcher boxes for everything. Just have the one on each TV for now, but I have an extra just in case. And then on this side below, I have my N64 box, my Super Nintendo box. Can't see, but my um, Super Scope box is back there too. And all my Nintendo Power issues. So a whole bunch. And then now I have Retro Gamer Magazine coming, so those ones are getting added too. I'm going to have to find somewhere else because I'm going to run out of room pretty quick here. And one of the last things I'll show you is the cool Legend of Zelda shield I won, which is awesome, from HalloweenCostumes.com. So yeah, if you need anything, especially even Nintendo related stuff for a costume, they've definitely got it. And then, what else do I have? Just my couple issues of the Mega Man and the Zelda manga, and the old Super Mario comics that I got. Well, me and my brother each got an issue for Christmas the one year. But I kind of stole them once I moved out. So this is one I got. It's awesome. And here's the other one. One day I'll collect all the other issues. I'm not sure how many there are though, so I'll have to do some looking. So, and Godzilla, of course. He growled or something. I don't remember where his button is. Hmm. Well, you'll have to take a word for it. He growls. So yeah. I think that's about it. Um, I'll go through one of these days and pick out some of the best deals I've gotten, some of the best games I have in this whole whack of stuff. But for now, I think that's it. And uh, I hope you found this interesting at least and not super boring. And I'll just show you the last couple artwork things on the top here. Yeah, thanks for visiting my game room here. And uh, post videos of yours because I'd like to see what other people are doing. Thank you very much. Have an awesome day.